我是郑海颖，我今天要报告的是第十六届亚洲立宪体研究与医学大会报告。那首先，本届的亚洲立宪体研究与医学大会举办在十月三号到五号，在日本福冈举行。那接下来我要报告的是这一次在大会所发表的议报。So the topic of the presentation is megacycline potential, the therapeutic effects of tyrosine kinase inhibitor on non-small cell lung cancer via targeting mitochondria. Later, I will shorten the tyrosine kinase inhibitor into TKI and non-small cell lung cancer into an SLC. So first, let me introduce some terms. The malignant perfusions. Is one of the common complications of lung cancer, and the prognosis is frequently required in TKI-resistant and SLC patients with malignant perfusions. In a previous study of our lab, we discovered that TKI-resistant and SLC patients treated with successful minocycline prognosis have better prognosis. So in this study, we first testified the minocycline effect on cell viability, migration, and proliferation of NSCOCs, and then we hypothesized that minocycline affects the NSCOCs via mitochondria and mitochondria-associated apoptosis. So we then assess the cell apoptosis. Besides, we Evaluate the effect of combination treatment of minocycline and gefitinib on NSCOCs viability and proliferations. Gefitinib is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Also, we plan to test the mi mitochondrial membrane potential and the molecule related to mi mitochondria-associated apoptosis, such as BAC and BAX. In conclusion, first, an SCOC treated with both minocycline and combination treatment display a declination on the cell proliferation, viability, and migration. Moreover, the combination treatment presented the stronger inhibiting effect on TKI-resistant an SCOC cell proliferation and viability, comparing with the gefitinib treatment. Secondly, minocycline increased the NSCOC cell apoptosis. Furthermore, the minocycline and gefitinib appears to have synergic effect on increasing cell apoptosis. 以上是我的报告，谢谢。